Three secrets revealed to the three children by an apparition of St. Mary in Fatima, Portugal. This was originally in October 13, 1917. What were these three secrets? What did the Virgin Mary, St. Mary, say to them? The miracle of the sun happened in Fatima, Portugal. 24 years after Sister Lucia passed, then living as a nun in Toy, Spain, would decide the time was right to reveal the first two secrets from the apparition of the Virgin Mary that Sister Lucia saw in Fatima, Portugal. And 60 years later, the third secret was finally revealed, though it remains to be known for certain if there is more to be told. Many believe that this secret has not yet been revealed. Lucia Santos wrote her memoirs in 1941 and revealed the first vision. And she talked about a gruesome vision of souls burning in hell. Some see it as a biblical message about what would happen and others see it as a message about something taking place at the time of World War I. This was the warning. The war is going to end very soon, but if people do not cease offending God, a worse war will break out during the pontificate of Pius XI. Kindly support my Patreon account since YouTube has again demonetized my YouTube channel. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below. A year after the apparition in Fatima, World War I ended, but the Pope was then Benedict XV in 1917. The second prophecy gave two warnings. The first warning was of a mysterious light in the sky. Quote, when you see a night illuminated by an unknown light, Know that this is the great sign given you by God that he is about to punish the world for its crimes, end quote. On January 25, 1938, the Aurora Borealis lit up the night skies throughout Europe. At the time, Hitler was preparing for war. A month later, Hitler moved soldiers into Austria during the pontificate of Pius XI, which had indeed come to pass. So these warnings were already played out in real life by the time Sister Lucia wrote about them in 1941, but another message she wrote down would uh, be untold and uh, it would unfold in years later. The second warning was about Russia. As we know, Russia at that time had a communist system. Russia and the spread of the communism throughout the world, the Virgin Mary called for the consecration of Russia. Quote, I shall come to ask for the consecration of Russia to my Immaculate Heart. If my requests are heeded, Russia will be converted and there will be peace. If not, she will spread her errors throughout the world, causing war as various nations will be annihilated, she said. The apparition appeared to Lucia Santos again on June 13, 1929, telling her that the, uh, that the moment had come for the Pope and all the bishops of the world to consecrate Russia. The Pope failed to carry out that order though, and Lucia believed allowed, uh, that it allowed communism to spread through, throughout the globe, in other words, all the satellite countries around Russia, making this the Soviet Union. World War II raged in 41, and the next Pope, Pope Pius XII, decided to carry out the consecration of Russia. However, Lucia said it was not as the Virgin Mary wanted it, the bishops around the world did not take part in that ceremony. There were two more failed consecration attempts in 1952 and 1964. Sister Lucia said that God remained displeased. Communism spread to China in 1949 and in Cuba in 1961. A third of the world was communist by the 1980s. Now, Sister Lucia withheld the third secret until 1943 and that's when she fell ill, and the bishop asked her to write down that third secret. 
She sealed it in an envelope, but she asked that it remained unseen until the year 1960 or upon her death. The envelope was delivered to the Pope in 1944, who refused to reveal the secret in 1960, the height of the Cold War between the US and the Soviet Union. Now, some specific final secret of Fatima told of the ruin of the Catholic Church or possibly of uh, some kind of a thermal war. Now, thermonuclear, May 13, 2000, on the 83rd anniversary of the apparition at Fatima, Portugal, Pope John Paul II published the third secret, although some said the entire text was not yet fully released. I don't, we don't know how they would know. Quote, we saw an angel with a flaming sword in his left hand. Flashing, it gave out flames that looked as though they would set the world on fire, but they died out in contact with the splendor radiated towards him from her right hand. Some believe this may be a reference to averting nuclear wars. His sister Lucia asked that the secret be revealed in 1960. The timing would place it shortly before the, the political situation with the Cuban Missile Crisis in 1962, a critical moment when the world narrowly avoided nuclear war between Russia and the uh, US. Now, Pope John Paul II believed that another part of the third secret in the sealed envelope was about him personally. Sister Lucia warned of a, quote, vision of a bishop in white falling to the ground under the hail of gunfire, quote, unquote, and that vision turned out to be true. The Pope faced two assassination attempts, one of which took place in Fatima, Portugal, which was a bizarre coincidence. Pope John Paul II believed that the Virgin Mary warning, warnings did, in fact, save his life. And following his narrow escapes, the Pope decided to join with the bishops of the world to lead the consecration of Russia, after all. He also took the first steps to canonize the young children who had died, Jacinta and Francisco Marto, uh, the, other two, the other two of the three children of the Fatima apparitions um, event. Uh, recently, Pope Francis followed through at a mass in Fatima, and the consecration of Russia took place on March 25th, 1984, March 25th being the date of the Assumption, uh, sorry, the um, Annunciation of the Archangel Gabriel to the Virgin Mary. So that uh, consecration took place March 25th, 1984, over 50 years after Sister Lucia conveyed the message of the apparition. And Sister Lucia happily acknowledged that this attempt was successful. However, some in the church today believe the ceremony was not done properly and must be done again. Now, I don't know what, why they didn't do it properly the first time. Interestingly, Mikhail Gorbachev later met with the Pope in 1989, a significant change that had been unthinkable. On February 13, 2005, Sister Lucia passed away at the age of 97 of natural causes followed by Pope John II two months later at the age of 84. And the process to canonize Sister Lucia is underway. Over 102 years have passed since the miracle of the sun. And we know that Gorbachev, of course, was uh, the man who started doing the uh, change in Russia and the fall of Russia, of course, actually took place uh, in 1989-1990. So this is from Ancient Code. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support.